Hey guys and welcome back. We're going to go ahead and cover a few more questions off of the arithmetic reasoning portion of the ASVAB. So let's go ahead and dive right in and let's see what we can learn. There is absolutely no reason you should be getting number six wrong. Security answered five calls between five and six, three calls between six and seven, no calls between seven and eight, and eight calls between eight and nine. What was the average number of calls answered during this time? So how do you find an average? Well, average is found by adding up all the numbers then dividing by how many numbers you have. So let's start off. The first one had five. The second one had three. The next one had none, and the last one had eight. If I do five plus three plus zero plus eight, that's gonna give me 16. That's a total of four numbers, so we're gonna divide by four, and that gives me four as an average. So our answer here is A. So this question says that a recliner originally priced at $900 was discounted for 30%. Since it didn't sell, it was reduced another 20%. What is the total percent of the discount? Now again, there's lots of ways to do this, but without having a calculator, sometimes it's easier to do these like roundabout ways of answering this than it is to try to do it straightforward. So if I'm looking at it in this case, if I take 30% away from the 900, I'm gonna forget the 900 entirely and just say I'm gonna be left with 70% of whatever the original was. We're going to then reduce another 20% of whatever that number is. So if I'm going to reduce 20% of this 70%, I'm going to treat this like a new question to find that total percent discount, all right? So here's the deal, is that when you are trying to find like what 20% of 900, or any number in that case, you move the decimal over twice to make it into a decimal, and then you go ahead and multiply that decimal form of the percent by the whole. So in this case, I wanna find out what an additional 20% of 70% would be. So if I go ahead and multiply 70 by this 0.20, all right, we're going to end up getting an additional 14%, okay? So 70 times a 0.20 is gonna give me 14. So that means on top of this 30% off the original, I have another 14% off the original price that will be removed. So that means I'm going 30 plus another 14 is gonna be a total of a 44% discount, which is answer D. So for number eight, it says that a circular swimming pool five feet high has a volume of 125 pi cubic feet. So we're looking at like a cylinder here where it is from top to bottom, five feet high. It says, what is the distance across the widest part of the pool? So from one side of the circle to the other, what's the distance? So there's a few basic things you need to know here that makes this really, really easy. That is an arrow, not a 15. So when we're going through here, first off, the area, well, the volume is what we need to start with. The volume of a cylinder like this is the area of the circle times the height. And the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. Then you multiply that by the height. In this case, the only thing we know is the height, that's five. And we know that the final answer for this is 125 pi. So the first thing we're gonna do is divide that five out. So 125 divided by five just gives us 25, and we still have that pi. But here's the deal, that pi is gonna cancel out with this pi. So really we're saying here that the radius squared is equal to 25. So really we just gotta take the square root of both sides and we'll at least get our radius, which is half of this length. So what's the square root of 25? Well, five times five gives you 25, so the radius here is equal to five. So that means if I wanna know the distance all the way across the longest one, that would be five plus another five for the other half, because radius is only half of that, which now we have the diameter of 10 feet, which is answer B. Number nine here is pretty crazy easy. It says, Mrs. Lanus plans to put flowers in her yard, except in each corner as shown. What area of her yard remains for the flowers? So the grayed out is not getting flowers. All of this middle area is getting flowers. So let's take a look here. The first thing I'm gonna do is draw some lines right here. And when I do that, you can see that we actually have four rectangles here where this triangle is the same as this triangle, this one's the same as this. Really, all of these triangles are the same. They're all three by twos um, with a hypotenuse. So really, I don't have to look for an area of a triangle here. I can look at the whole rectangle. So three times two, length times width, is gonna give me six. So each of these rectangles are six. So we have six plus another six, 
which is going to give us 12, another 6, 18, another 6, 24. But only half of those triangles are actually used for flowers, so in this case, half of 24 is just going to give us 12. So our final answer here is actually going to be C, 12 square yards. So number 10 is just talking about balancing a checkbook here. So it's saying that a check register shows $512.33. Then it's going to start doing a bunch of deposits and withdrawals, and we're going to see where we end up at the end. So with that said, let's go ahead and just go through each one of these. Now, if you notice, these answers down here are spread out enough that I'm actually going to ignore these, like, the cents for each one and just round these off to the nearest whole number and try to go from there. So knowing that, let's look at this. We got 512 a deposit of 12030. Now remember, a deposit is adding to your account and a withdrawal is taking out of the account, okay? So 512 plus that 120 is going to give me about 632. And then we're going to withdraw 35, which is going to bring us down to 597. And then we're going to withdraw another 60, which is going to bring us down to 537. Then we're going to deposit, let's go with 22, round this up because of the 8. So if I add another 22, that's going to give me 559. And then last but not least, we're going to withdraw another 37. So that means that we're going to end up around like 522. All right. So if that's the case, looking at these answers, only one of them is near 522. So this is a pretty obvious answer of B. Hey guys, that's all we're going to cover for today, but remember, you can always click on any of these videos over here to help you keep studying for your next attempt on the ASVAB.